nine-month-old calf. And, uh, looks like it might have just fallen down. That rocky edge and uh, never got up. It, quite often that's what happens to a moose that's very weak and malnourished and tick bitten is they just fall down and can't get up or they fall down a bank and can't get up. Well obviously it hasn't been eaten by wolves and because uh, yeah, the, it would wolves would eat the whole thing. What we'll do is take the head and the lower hind leg, the metatarsal, and look for any broken bones uh, or anything that gives more information on why it died. And uh, we'll check its bone marrow uh, and its long leg bones, but I'm expecting they'll be empty. But that's a, that's a sign that it was fat starved and it used up all the fat in its body. So that's what I'm expecting to find. There are lots of bacteria at work in these decomposing carcasses. And so I don't like to cut my fingers. <laughs> in fact, they're probably staph bacteria. And uh, I have gotten a couple of infections and been unable to shake them without antibiotics. So this calf had uh, too many teeth, actually, more than the normal number of baby teeth. Let's see. Wow. I think I just saw it right there. There's no fat in this moose at all. Its marrow cavities are empty and originally these uh, these marrow cavities would have been full of fat in a healthy animal and they're empty now which suggests that there wasn't any fat in the, the liquid that was the only liquid that was there was water and there's one little tick walking around <laughs> very disappointed in what happened I'm sure if ticks can be disappointed. That one we'll take back and we'll uh, skin it and take the bone out, the metatarsal bone that goes from roughly here to there. And that's an index to the size of the calf, uh, actually when, before birth. So it's a good indicator of early nutrition. I, I've been here, you know, I've, I've never left because it just was more and more interesting. The more I learned about it, the more interesting it was. And uh, it happens to be one of those long-term studies where there's there's the scientific interest, but there's also the public interest because it's a, such a good narrative and such a good story. Uh, and so it captured public interest as well. And that's been critical for maintaining the integrity of the work uh, through all the decades.